right, welcome to Design by Pack. Uh, in this video, we have a uh, bathroom shower head faucet that just started running. My son took a shower, he just turned off the the tap, and the water just continued running. So I know it's really loud, but this house is full of uh, presents. Okay, uh, my video. So we have a uh, Christmas tree, Christmas tree, Christmas tree, Christmas tree, Christmas tree, Christmas tree, so I want to do this, just there's an Allen key, just get the right side, oh, right there, so let's see if we can, there's an Allen key, there we go, there we go, and I highly recommend before I go too far, I'm going to put something over that, the drain, so that in case the screw falls down, um, it won't go down the, the drain. All right, so I got that off. I'm now gonna grab my Phillips head, uh, remove this, the, those two screws, and remove this, remove the cover plate, and hopefully I get access to at least the hot and cold side, even though I think the inside needs to be replaced. Hot and cold, so I can turn those off, so I can turn the rest of the house water on while I go shopping for a new valve stem or valve. Here we go. So give me a second on grab the Phillips head. Okay. No access. Not at all. And I just want to add that unlike other bathrooms, there is no access on the back side of the wall to get at the plumbing at all, which is why I'm saying there's just no access for this faucet right now. That just comes off, that's just... I have to take this clip off. There's a clip, there's a clip right there that I have to pull up. So I'm gonna use my flathead screwdriver and pull that up. Take this. Hopefully you guys, there we go. There we go. So this is what I pulled out. Be careful to have it not drop down below there. Yeah. Okay, that was awfully tight. All right, so I went to Home Depot and they actually had the exact replacement part in stock. There you go, now you can see it. Um, it would have been nice to know which one I needed before I went to take this apart because I could have bought this at Home Depot this is a tool that comes with it that helps you take the old one off. And I did not know which one I needed, so I had to use the vice grips in the old fashioned way, just a whole bunch of grunt force. But it would have been so much better to be able to remove this old one with, uh, with this tool. You just put lubricant on this oval here, they call it the oval, right here. This oval here on both sides, put lubricant on it. You put it back in, you need to make sure when you do it, there's an H and a C for hot and cold, and that's how I took it out. So when I put it back in, I want to make sure that the H and C are the same directions as it was when I installed it, or when I took it out. So I'm gonna put it in like this, H and C. So then we'll get the lubricant on this, and then let's go um, reassemble it and see if that's fixed it. So here we go, just tear that. Put a little bit on. There we go, got some there. Let's get some more on. There we go. Same with here. All right, so I got lubricant on each side of the oval, hot and cold. Let's get this back in there.
And there we go. Done. So let's go reassemble this. Let's put um, this back on carefully. So when you put this on, there's grooves on the top that you need to slide this through. So groove on your side, there we go. So it's easier to do with needle nose pliers because you can't strap it around because there's holes that actually physically has to go through. So then that's in. Um, let's push this down a little bit more. I think, I think it's in all the way, but just to be sure. There we go. Yep, and kids down. Um, before we put everything back together, let's put this on here, right? Let's put this on here. Let's put this on here. Uh, this has to line up with this. There it does. Let's screw this on and uh, let's go see if this all worked. And then if it does, then I'll reassemble everything properly. I am just doing this. There we go. There we go, yep. All right, so let me go um, take a look. All right, so you didn't see this part. I tested this with my son who was here to make sure that when I turned the water on downstairs, it didn't explode everywhere. It was able to turn off and turn on. So I'm doing this test to show you, even though I already know it already works. So when I turn on the water downstairs, this was in the uh, open position. There we go. So here we go. It seems to be working. So. But, I noticed something, this is not in the right spot. I have to take this off, flip it around, and reinstall it. Because I, I can do either one direction or the, not, or the other, I can't just turn it all the way around. So, here I go. Because I'm just taking this stopper and changing the position of it. Remember I said when I took this off. This was in the down position. Like that. That goes back on there. There we go. So now this is gonna work the way I think it's, I expect it to work. It was turning half quarter turn one way, half quarter turn the other way, so this is in the wrong spot. So now I fixed it. I turn this, keep turning this, keep turning this until it's all the way. I'm hot now. Yep, that's hot water. You do a quarter turn, it should be cold. That's cold water. Keep turning it, stop. Perfect. Now I'm just going to reassemble it and I'll be done. So this starts with the handle in the down position. So there it is. Now, it's gonna be a little tricky to get to it. So what I'm gonna do is turn on the water for a second while I screw this in. So we start to screw it in. And then I'm gonna turn it off. Now that it's in there, whether that's the best way or not, probably the best way is just turning off the water, but this is the second floor of the house, the water shut off, is in the basement, and I'm lazy. So there we go. That's now in there. Perfect. Hot water, cold water, done. Easy fix. It's much easier than I even thought it was going to be. Uh, I'll talk to you in a minute. Thanks. <clears throat> 
Uh, let me know in the comments below any suggestions of what I could have done better, what I could have done differently, what I did right maybe, um, and any comments in general if you want to reach out to me. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, if you enjoyed what you see, and I'll keep on making videos. Thanks. Bye.